Bunny, and it is time for my September monthly favorites, and it's almost too late for me to even do this video anymore. It's like already like seven days into October, but you know the old saying, better late than never. I hope someone still cares. Also, please try and just omit my hair today from your vision. I don't know like what is happening here. It doesn't want to do anything. Also, I have a roach on my shirt. <laughs> I got this from Wasteland when I was in LA last, last month. And I thought it was kind of funny, but like ironically funny. You know what I mean? Also kind of like disturbing. But it's October, it's Halloween month, time to get extra creepy. Help me understand this joke. The shirt has a roach on it and it says, good kitchen help is hard to find. What does that even mean? It's from 1981. We had a different sort of humor then in 1981. Let's talk about all the cool things uh, that happened in September. I am honestly so glad that September is over. It is now Halloween month and September is just kind of like one of my least favorite months of the year. It's kind of like an awkward phase. Late, late summer, too early for fall. I don't know. Sippy, sippy as we reflect. Also, I know it was like the first full month of school for a lot of you guys who went back to school. Are you hanging in there? Have you had hard tests? I hope you're dealing well with stress and bullies. I know that they're everywhere. It's terrible, but we will stand together and we have each other, so we will get through it. The first monthly favorite that I have is actually my new iPhone 6 Plus, and I'm not trying to brag by saying that I got this. I was actually mega up for an upgrade, so I got the really kind of like cheaper rate. I know that this device is still super expensive, but I try and kind of like budget out for things like this. I am an Apple iPhone junkie. I know that people either really, really seem to love Apple products or they hate them. And I'm definitely a person who severely loves them. And I know a lot of people are scared of jumping to the six plus because it is pretty significantly larger than the iPhone 5 was, but it's also a lot slimmer than the iPhone 5 or even the new iPhone 6. And now that I have switched to this much bigger device, it's so much easier to film and edit videos. If you do a lot of videoing, videoing, or if you do a lot of picture taking, picture editing, you are definitely going to want to spring for this bigger size. Honestly, out of every iPhone that I have ever had, this one has been my most favorite one. As soon as I got it, I waited for eight and a half hours in a line in the rain to get this phone, but it was definitely, definitely worth it. Next monthly favorite is uh, from Lush, and it is a new kind of dry shampoo, and I like to think of this as a style extender, because days when I'm curling my hair or I have it in my nice, like, kind of post-Victorian poof, it just gives it so much more volume and helps it stay throughout the day. It smells so delightful. I want to say it almost has kind of a little bit of a lemony scent. It's like, I think $6, $7 for this size, which is pretty comparable, I feel, to most other dry shampoos. You guys know that I am a dry shampoo junkie. If it's a type of dry shampoo that's out on the market, I'm gonna wanna try it. It takes a little bit of getting used to to like squeeze it in your hair instead of spraying it like most dry shampoos come in a can. But now that I've gotten used to kind of like the sprinkle and home-in method. I'm sprinkling it all over myself. I absolutely love it. I think it gives me a lot of volume. It's so nice. I love it. I love the smell too. Moving right along. My next monthly favorite is a candle or a whole scent family from Bath and Body Works. I always get these confused. Bed Bath and Beyond and Body Works and there's just the body shop. There's so many different ones. This is like burning hot. I've actually had it burning for a couple of hours now. It is the Pumpkin Cafe Collection candles from Bath and Body Works and I think my favorite is is pumpkin pecan waffles. Just like all of a sudden I just became this person who just loves lighting things on fire. It's just like you walk into the house and it smells like you're cooking things, which is just so magical for me because I can't cook anything. I can't boil water. So I'm like kind of fooling my house guests who come over and they're like, oh, what are you cooking? And I'm like, wax. 
<laughs> My next monthly favorite is a piece of jewelry and I found this on Etsy. I have been having like bouts of insomnia lately. I don't know what it is. I just cannot sleep. So I've been going on Etsy lately and I'm just looking up all the like historical costumes and antique things that people from all over the world have to offer. And I found this really awesome shop called Curiosity Vintage. And I found this bracelet. My favorite time period to collect things from is like 1880. I think it's because I'm like obsessed with Deadwood and I just, I want all the things from 1880. So I found this bracelet, which is called a love token bracelet. And people used to take coins and take them to a jeweler or do it themselves. And they would like file down on one side so they would have a flat engravable surface and they would engrave people's names or initials that they loved that meant something to them. So uh, Curiosity Vintage takes a lot of these love tokens and then turns them into these awesome charm bracelets. It just looks so fascinating and each one it's like I don't know, it just like tells a story and it's just so incredibly fascinating. I'm trying to kind of zoom in so you guys can see some of the awesome looking engravings and initials. Most of these coins are from the 1880s or 1870s and I'm not sure exactly like what kind of coin this is, but they are all from the US. They have a couple more in their shop and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna string for another one and start like collecting these and stacking these. I love, love, love collecting all things antique. Which brings me into my next monthly favorite. Dogman and I went to San Francisco for a couple of days and we didn't have too, too much downtime while we were there, but we got to go to like Haight-Ashbury Street where there's a lot of different awesome boutiques and we found this place called Mystery Mister. They sell old clothing from all different decades and time periods and they also have like some little antique knick-knack types of things. I love collecting Victorian things. How many times can I say that? I have become obsessed once again with trying to find authentic clothing items from that time period that I can wear, which is a challenge because people still like realistically wore corsets in the ye old days, like every day. So most of the clothing I cannot fit in because people were extremely, extremely tiny back then. But when I do find something, I just like salivate at the mouth, must procure, especially if it fits and it's in good enough condition to wear. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it already, but it is an incredibly gorgeous orange two piece Victorian outfit. So you get this coat thingy and it actually does have like corseted boning on the inside. It's still pretty comfortable. Like I've got enough like breathing room to wear it. And it's got all of these different kinds of buttons on the front and this nice like velvet fabric. And I love when you can actually see the wear and tear on these things. I'm gonna try and unbutton it a little bit so you guys can see the inside because it's all like rotty and beautiful and I'm just so excited to wear it. It's starting to get a little bit cooler here in Texas by cooler. I mean like the low 80s. So pretty soon, hopefully, I will be able to wear this gorgeous gem. It's all kind of like rotty and corrody on the inside. I just love it. I don't know. It also came with a full length matching skirt, which also has the uh, velvet paneling on it. And it looks like it has some sort of a little bit of bustly kind of ruffly flare in the back but I am so obsessed with it. I'm so glad that that's like the one boutique that we had time and decided to stop in on that day. It was just, it was so magical. Another clothing favorite, which is totally like 180 from the clothing that I just showed you guys, is this vest that I got from Dolls Kill. And I am so obsessed with this thing. I have been wearing it almost every single day. I think I've already worn it in like two videos plus. It was kind of on the pricey side, but I felt like it would be a really good investment for me because it is something I feel like I will get so much wear out of. It is incredibly comfortable. It looks so good. And I don't know, I just love like wearing a plaid and kind of, I don't know what I would call this style because I'm definitely not really like full blown punk or anything like that. I just like things with studs. 
I don't know what kind of like clothing genre that would be. Moving right along. I don't even want to take this off. I'm just gonna leave it on. My next monthly favorite has got to be my most used palette for the month of September. And that is the special edition Simpsons MAC palette. And this is that trillion dollar look quad. And I put this in my MAC Simpsons collection haul. It is greens and blues. And when I bought this, I kind of thought it would just be like something fun that I would use every now and again, but I've ended up using this all of the time. And almost every day that I've been doing eyeshadow looks in the month of September, I have been using this palette. So if you can still find it online or in stores anywhere and you like doing like fun colors and greens and blues, you may want to try and get this palette. My next monthly favorite is another makeup product and it is the NYX Lip Primer Lipstick Base and mine is gonna look a little miscolored and a little bit red because you guys know that I'm pretty much consistently wearing red lipstick. So if you've got really dry and chapped lips like I do and also if you don't want to invest in a million different lip liner pencils then this product is great for you. Every time I put it on I find that the color of whatever lipstick I'm wearing it just looks like 10 times better and more opaque and also my lips don't get as dry. I think it's around five or six dollars so it's pretty nominal. Nom nominal? Nominal. And I think it's a good thing. Next monthly favorite has got to be my new glasses from Holes Eyewear. I've worn these a couple times and put them on Instagram. They're so much fun to wear and if you've loved these kaleidoscope glasses then this new style that they came out with might be a good pair for you. They are actually like a lot easier than my other ones that I've worn in the past to get adjusted to and to see out of. They're still not like the most practical things that I own, but they are a lot of fun and I always get a ton of compliments every time that I wear them out and people are just like, what are those? And they want to try them on and put them on their face. It's definitely fun for different outfits that I put together just to add a little bit of like extra like, oh, what is that? That's always the reaction I'm trying to get out of people. My camera is overheating so I gotta go. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video even though it's super duper late and September is not even a relevant month anymore. Thank you so so much for spending some time with me, for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for being you and thank you so much for being here. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also if you want you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or or Instagram at Graveyard Girls, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!